What's your name, boy? Hugo. No one does the characters better than Martin Scorsese and creates that world and story. It's Marty's massive grasp of storytelling and our love for stories that this film is a part of. I knew that Marty always wanted to do a tribute to cinema. So taking on this project, I think, was a huge testament to who he is and how creative he is and how far he can stretch. I was given the book of You Go Cabaret, and there was an immediate connection to the story of the early days of making movies and this man, George Méliès. George Méliès was the first person to say, why don't we use the possibilities of cinema to go into the world of fantasy? So Méliès made fantastical movies that had special effects, that had magic tricks in them. No one had done that until George Méliès said, I can do that. We wanted to create this magical world of Paris in the 20s and 30s. The Méliès studio, the train station. This is marvelous. Hugo lives in this labyrinth of beautiful tunnels and dark places and the environment of the railway station with all its secret corners and massive clocks. Who has been winding the clocks? There are huge, incredible, amazingly accurate and imaginative sets. Dante Ferretti, of course, designed these sets. They were enormous. It was very difficult to do this because we built an entire train station, and all the tunnels, and the secret apartment. The Georges Méliès studios, the inside the clock tower. We built everything in the stages and on the back lot. And we had Bob Richardson on camera. His color palette, the design of the light, the shadow and light really made it come alive. Rob Legato doing the uh, special visual effects is also part of that look. He combines that with Dante Ferretti's production design. The range of effects on this one was everything, every possible technique, every modern technique and every old technique because it's an homage to the way films were done back in the day. And the train crash was probably the most fun visual effect that we did. The score to Hugo is quite extensive because there's so many things to draw inspiration from in this story. Uh, I love this period, 1895 to 1931. So I wanted to capture all the color and the texture of the film and the music. 